Hey guys, Jared here, and uh, it's raining really heavily outside. Um, I just did a short about that, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm filming this on Friday, the twentieth of October, and tonight I'm going to see uh, this show called An Evening with uh, Laurel and Hardy. I think presented by Neil Brand. And uh, yeah, if you've seen my video where I was going to the SpongeBob musical, I did see this being advertised. Uh, now I'm actually going to see it. Uh, I believe what it is is this guy Neil Brand. He's like a pianist, and I think he does like his sort of introduction. Uh, he talks about Laurel and Hardy as well, but they they play like silent Laurel and Hardy films, and he plays the piano live along with it, which I think will be really cool. And you know, you might know if you've been keeping up with the channel. I, I've recently went to Talking Pictures TV Festival. Festival of Film, and you know, they have a lot of stuff to do with Laurel and Hardy as well, you know, they show Laurel and Hardy films on their channel, and also at that event they had Laurel and Hardy artwork, and you know, they had uh, Jeffrey Holland doing his Stan Laurel performance, and you know, uh, and also because that event's all to do with classic films, you know, I'm feeling very much in a classic film mood uh, at the moment, and uh, you know, Speaking of Talking Pictures TV, today on their channel they're debuting this new series called Writings on the Wall, which is about um, blue plaques, um, and it's presented by Mike Reed. Uh, it looks very interesting. I, I look forward to seeing it when it's on later today. And uh, also, uh, at that Talking Pictures event that I went to, uh, Timothy West was, of course, one of the stars there, uh, the guests there. And, Today is actually his birthday. He's 89 today, so happy birthday to him. Uh, you know, nearly 90 years old. That's impressive. And you know, I'm, I've mentioned before he's married to Prunella Scales. Um, they've actually been married for 60 years this year. They were first married in 1963, so that's pretty impressive. And yeah, you know, at that event, a lot of people sent like their wishes for Prunella because, of course, she has dementia. But yeah, from stuff I've read, it seems like their relationship is still very strong despite her dementia. But yeah, I'll really look forward to seeing this Laurel and Hardy show presented by Neil Brand. And uh, I'll cut to uh, after I've been there and I'll tell you what I thought of it. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back from the show now. and Well, I'm filming this the day after. And yeah, I had a really great time there. And uh one thing I'll point out, I, I didn't know this, uh, but Neil Brand, who presented it, he pointed this out. He also wrote a radio drama called Stan, uh, which was made into this TV drama called Stan, which I do own and, you know, I have seen. Uh, this is a pretty good uh, drama about, you know, uh, Laurel and Hardy. You know, it, it's not quite as good as the Stan and Ollie movie. But um, it's still a good uh, drama to check out, you know, if you're a Laurel and Hardy fan like I am. But yeah, this show is great because I mean, I'm a big Laurel and Hardy fan. And, uh, I've actually never seen them on like a big screen before. Uh, so this was great. You know, the closest thing to seeing them on the big screen was I did see the Stan and Ollie movie in the cinema when that came out. But apart from that, I've never seen any of their original films in this in a big screen before. So it, uh, this was a cool, you know, new experience for me, and especially having Neil Brand, you know, playing the piano along with it. And, you know, he also um, talked about, like, their lives and stuff, and, you know, the, the start of their career, you know, how they first, you know, started working with Hal Roach, and, you know, uh, when he was talking about the start, like, he talked about their solo careers, and he showed bits from, you know, that he, both of their solo work, and, you know, played the piano along with that, and then showed um, some of their, like, early work, working together you know, and you know, still playing the piano over it and they did also show a bit of their sound films as well which was cool and uh, Neil Brand clearly has a huge love for Laurel and Hardy which uh, is also what makes it so enjoyable you know his presentation um, and you know I have a great love for them as well so I really enjoyed it because of that and he also mentioned uh, uh, Morecambe and Wise and Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson uh, when he was talking about like comedy duos from other eras so I thought it was nice uh, for him to bring them up uh, and there were some like kids actually in uh, this theatre when I saw uh, this so it's nice to see as well more younger generations uh, you know being into this sort of stuff so I'll show some pictures here of me at that show um, 
it was the exact same room that I saw the SpongeBob musical in, uh, which was cool. Um, and you know, I mentioned you know, before there was a flood. Um, the flood's gone now, uh, but um, because of that, we weren't able to park in the parking space that we usually uh, stay in when you know going to that area. So it's instead like a my my mum like dropped me and my dad off at a certain place, and then yeah, you know, after the show was over, she came back and like picked us up there. That was really nice, but. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed this show. And what what's cool is uh, Neil Brand actually said this. He kind of improvises the music that he plays. He doesn't just play the same music at every uh, showing of it because he's done he's done this show in loads of other locations. You know, he doesn't just do the same music every time. And he said part of the reason is because uh, he he admittedly can't remember what music he usually he played like last time for that particular film. But I think that's really cool, actually, that he plays different music for those shorts at different um, showings of this performance. Um, yeah, and I, I really like that about him. And his piano playing was very good. Um, it's a lot like there's a guy on YouTube, uh, Ben Modell, who like does pianos over like uh, silent films. Uh, you know, he does that on live streams. They're called like the Silent Comedy Watch Party. You know, those are really cool and. Then, yeah, that's cool on a live stream, but uh, yeah, this was also really cool actually seeing him play it live on the stage uh, while watching it. So, yeah, it was really cool. So, if, you know, Neil Brandt, because he does this in loads of different locations, if he does this, like, near where you are, I would definitely recommend uh, seeing it if you're a Laurel and Hardy fan. And, yeah, um, that's all I have to say. And thanks for watching, everybody, and bye.